Hello and welcome to this Batanian focus playthrough of Bannerlord. And you can see here they paint their faces when going to battle and even their noblemen prefer to fight on foot while using great axes and two-handed swords with deadly efficiency. Let's make way here and try to get a nice, a nice looking guy. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, this seems like a pretty good one. And we're going to just make him a little, a little taller. I kind of want him just to be a little bit above average. We'll make his voice a little bit lower and then I need to find some good hair for him because we, we want to find a, a nice Batanian hairstyle for him. Maybe something, maybe something like this. Yeah, this seems pretty good. And we also need to go for a little bit, a little bit darker hair. And then we're also going to go for face paint. Is there any kind of face paint that I can do right here? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Face paint. We are going to be doing this because let's face it, Batanians, they love their face paint. So we're going to be going for something, uh, maybe something like this. I don't really want anything too uh, too intrusive, shall we say, because we really want to see his beautiful face, do we not? Uh, so something like that, I suppose. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on Batania as a whole. So in other words, I'm going to restrict myself to using Batanian weapons, armor, and their troops only. That is the only thing I will be able to do. I'm also going to be taking smithing and two-handed here. We're going to be going for two-handed and throwing. We will be going for athletics and smithing. We'll be going for roguery and throwing. And we will also go for athletics and roguery. And then we will also be taking roguery and tactics. And there we go. All right, I am ready to go with Diggory Dagnamit. He is the, uh, the the character that I created in Nova Etus in a uh, Mountain Blade Warband mod. And uh, hopefully he's going to have a fun time here too. So as I said, we're going to be recruiting Batanian units and we have some right here. So I actually wonder if there is a tournament. There is no tournament going on here. I'm going to be attempting to progress as fast as I possibly can. And we are going to try and become a vassal of Batania really, really quickly. Unfortunately, I only have, what, three days? I only have three days worth of food. Are you serious right now? Come on. That's pretty awful. Okay, yeah. So we're going to have to spend some money on that. I'm going to be unequipping my horse because I am very much wanting to level up my athletics as fast as we possibly can. And being able to run around on the world map, we'll do that. So let's recruit some more people. I will probably try to find a village that has grain. There we go. This one has has grain as its as its product because I really do not want to run out of food as I am attempting to run around the area here. So let's just spend 200 or so on that. Now we have 47 days worth. Okay, might have been a bit overkill there, but I think that's perfectly fine. Let's continue to get units. And here we go. We've got some looters, which I am going to attempt to fight. Now bear in mind that I do have throne weapons and I will hopefully be able to utilize those as best as I can. And the cool thing about my throne weapons is that I've installed a mod that basically increases the stack number of each thrown weapon in the game because usually they are at a pretty unusable three and now they are at a much more usable nine which i am very much uh, appreciating oh wow i am really terrible with these yeah oh yeah don't even don't even get me started on this are you serious right now oh nice headshot very good nice took him down oh batanian volunteer i hit the batanian volunteer with my thrown weapon that that, that happens, you know. That happens more often than I would like to admit. But there you go. There's a nice victory for us very, very early on anyway. And we'll take some we'll take some prisoners. Oh, I gained two Valor. Very nice. Okay. But otherwise, let's go and take some of that. You never know when that's actually going to be kind of useful for us as well. So I'm actually going to be swapping those things. We're actually going to lock these as well. Because I do not want horses to be equipped. And I think we're pretty good with what I equipped just there, so that's fine. We're also going to be attempting to recruit as many companions as we can get our hands on as well. And bear in mind that the smithy does require some charcoal and hardwood and things like that for us to be able to smelt them. So unfortunately, I won't be able to smelt anything just yet. But we will be doing a lot of smithing in this series. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to create our own units uh, our own units no our own weapons as we go forward yeah, it would be cool to create our own uh, our own units that's for sure 
All right, so we've leveled up three times, and that will give me the opportunity to level up our throwing skill, get some 10% uh, faster raids, and we are also going to be taking all of our points into athletics, all of our points into endurance, so that we can level up our athletics as fast as possible, because we're going to be spending most of our time on the world map, and being able to level up athletics just that much quicker is very, very important for what we need to do. In other words, escaping from battles, pursuing people, and just in general, being an overall nuisance. That's what we want to do. All right, so, aha, here we go. We've got a daughter fi finding quest, which is perfect. Pelosaur, what are you doing here? It seems like he has uh, uh, wooed this, uh, this maiden here. Okay, so let's have a look. How do I know he's not forcing you to say that? Okay, let's try a little bit of a charm thing here. Uh, how about this? There we go. 84% <laughs> chance. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty easy. And now we have some very low chances. Oh, never mind. Okay, there you go. Critical success right there. All right, done. Yeah, I had to run all the way over here because I uh, didn't equip my horse or anything. But there you go. 620. We gain a little bit of charm skill, which is exactly what we want. And we are now going to continue onward. Now we have a pretty even battle on our hands right here. We've got some looters. Yes, we have 10 looters against 10 of us. And I think we should do perfectly fine. Let's get a nice shield wall going on here. These looters are probably not going to be having that many throwing weapons in comparison to some of the others. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about them. And I'm actually going <laughs> to... I think I'm probably going to replace these throwing axes relatively soon. I am pretty awful with them, as you can no doubt tell. So, yeah, probably something to be a bit careful of. Nice. Ah, should have definitely blocked there. Nice, took him down. And now we're going to have some difficulties with this guy, potentially. Nice. Nice, there we go. Took him down. All right, so now, hopefully, I'll be able to use these. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, me with my throwing weapon. Look, what, what, what is actually going on here? Do you see this? It's going right through this guy. That is some weird stuff going on there, but it's okay because we achieved victory. And we actually gained a huge amount of skill points as well, which is exactly the reason why we wanted to go in here. And anyone that levels up is going to be getting a really, really good amount of skill points. So let's go over to Maranath right now. I am very over encumbered because I literally do not have any horses. And oh dear. Well, this might be problematic. Hopefully I'm going to be able to escape them. Yes, it seems like I am able to escape them and I can wait here for some time and just let them leave. There we go. Perfect. All right. <laughs> oh, these kinds of things are going to happen in the early game. We've got to be very, very careful about that. Thankfully, the people that leveled up will be able to go to trained warriors now. So we'll have a little bit of extra strength on our side. And I'm going to be selling all of my armor here. And we're going to be buying a mule and another sumter horse just so that I can cre increase my uh, capacity just a little bit. I, you know, we, we need to make sure that we are going to have a, a decent time there. Now, there are some other looters over here as well, which I think we will be doing battle with, but I'm not going to be spending most of the time chasing after looters or anything like that because there are better ways to spend your time, especially doing tasks, trying to get maximum relation with the amount of villages in the area. I'm actually really surprised that these guys are able to run away from us in such a fast manner. And do bear in mind that I am actually a little bit injured in this fight as well. So you do have to be a bit careful here. I am going to tell my people to charge in now this time. Because before I basically just wanted to try and increase my throne weapon skill as much as I possibly could. And uh, generally being able to do that needs your units to kind of relax a little bit and not not run in. Because if they run in then you're, you're basically going to have them killing everything and you not killing anything with your with your throwing weapons or anything, so that's kind of what I was talking about there. Oh, nice. No! I got killed by stones! Are you serious? But there you go. I mean, we, we win we win the victory. That's, that's basically all we needed to do. But, uh, yeah, Diggory is going to need to take a bit of a load off, and he's going to have to relax a little bit. Now, I am going to attempt to find a village with hardwood. Oh, hello. There is a village with hardwood. Perfect. 
Alright, so I've just taken a task from this guy at Cantrek, and he's going to be telling me to speak to these villagers, and these villagers are not going to be too pleased with what I have to tell them. So, I'm going to say, you can take your grievances to your lord or to whoever, whoever sold the land. The law says a buyer has rights and you need to clear out. And there you go, we've gained 30 honor, which is actually very nice, and we're going to be gaining 7 skill points in charm. Bear in mind that charm is going to be very, very important for us later down the line, so we are going to have to be a bit careful of that but you can already see here that we're actually doing quite well in terms of the amount of units that have leveled up which is not too bad not too bad there are some more looters here which are going to be i mean that's the thing don't really want to fight too many looters but it's kind of necessary considering the uh obligatory experience that you need you know you do need some experience to be able to do things anyway i'm going to be taking a hostile action here but i have to be very careful because this guy right here, he's probably going to try and attack us, and we're probably going to need to run away as soon as possible. So let's see what I can do about that. So hostile action, raid the village, and we are 16 against 10. Now, if I can just get mm, maybe 25%, maybe 30%, maybe even 50% of the way through the raid, that will be successful. Because being able to get some hardwood for free without me having to spend any money on it is going to be pretty invaluable. So let me see if I can just get my forces over here. And maybe I can... Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to... Hit. Oh, okay. So it seems like they're all archers. So I guess I'm just going to tell my people just to charge straight on in here. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Yeah, it seems like we don't really need to worry about them too much. As you can see, they're, they're doing perfectly fine by themselves. I don't even really need to help them at this point. No, it seems like we don't. Boom. Get him. Yes, there we go. Diggory has gained a level as well. Fantastic. Very good. Okay, so we did end up taking a couple of casualties, but that is not too bad at all. And there we go. Now we can select our name, and his name is going to be Diggory Dagnabbit, as I said. And there we go. We will be uh, selecting something that is very, very much a Batanian thing, which, um, <laughs> should I pick the bear? No, let's pick something else. Let's pick, let's pick something like this, because it's kind of like a bear, but not a bear. And we're going to go for green, and we're going to go for, what's the sigil color? We should make it something... Uh, I really wish I had the banner editor, but um, I, I, as far as I'm aware, it does not work for me anymore for some reason. I don't really know why that is, but I guess I'll just pick white. Green and green and white seems to be kind of good, I guess. Let's go for something like that. We'll take some prisoners, even though it does slow us down, so we have to be a bit careful if we are going to get attacked. We have to be very cautious about when that happens, because I really don't want to be in a situation where there's a massive vassal coming towards us. Oh, look at that. We've lost 150 honor and 150 mercy. Oh, okay. Oh, and the Western Empire has now declared war on me. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, well, that, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. All right, now I just have to make a uh, very concerted effort to look around here. Please don't attack me, looters. I, if you attack me, I will be livid. Absolutely livid. No, it seems like they're, they're leaving me alone for the moment, which is actually very nice of them. And I am kind of surprised we're not being attacked yet. Well, this is good. This is actually very good. Look at this. We're getting so much hardwood, which is going to enable us to start smelting a bunch of weapons. And it's going to increase our smithing skill very nicely. And we are then going to also have the ability to sell the raw materials that we can get by breaking down those weapons. And it's going to be great. Wow. I'm actually really surprised that we are being left alone here. Wow. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Very surprising indeed. I really thought that they were going to say hi to us, especially these um, <laughs> uh, 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 these these bandits. Okay, how much do you want? Okay, yeah, you can you can just take two hundred and seventeen. I'm perfectly happy for you to take that, because I'm never going to win a battle against forty-one looters, not in a million years. But yeah, it's nice that we have the ability to do that. I think we have a pretty basic amount of charm skill at, at the moment as well, so that's that's always nice. Let's have a look at what this guy ah needs access to the commons. We're going to do these very simple tasks as well because they actually do quite a bit. 350 gold. I think 350 gold for literally just going and speaking to someone is 
amazing. And especially considering I'm actually just going to be going over there anyway, it doesn't really hinder me in the least. So you can see there we're gaining more honor as well, which is great because obviously we have just raided a village and raiding a village reduces our honor by a pretty significant amount, which I got to say is not great. But it's nice that they've actually made it possible to see your honor rating now because obviously before you weren't really able to see that, um, you know, see that deficit. So let's just continue getting people. I have now uh, leveled up my clan tier as well. So that means that I will now be able to utilize more people, more more, uh, <laughs> more volunteers and various other things like that. So that's, that's going to be very, very cool. And we're going to be going for... Oh yeah, we don't we don't want these guys. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with them, but I, I guess I'll just dismiss them for the moment. And then we'll continue onward. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the smithy now because I do have some hardwood. As you can see, I have 13 from our wonderful raid that we were able to perpetrate. And uh, oh yeah, I actually have to refine this into charcoal, don't I? Okay, so let's do that. So I have 400 smithing stamina, but it is not unlimited. And you can make it unlimited if you want to, but I'm not going to do that because I think 400 is more than enough for what I need to do here. And we're just going to be doing that. And then we can do a little bit of this. Uh, smelting. I'm just looking for things that have wood involved with them because if you have the ability to get wood, hardwood, then you can actually just go back and then make more charcoal from that and so on and so forth and it actually does make a pretty significant difference so there we go nice we were able to get all of that stuff smelted down our smithing skill is now 30 which is great and i believe we have a couple of points to spend yes look at this we have a massive amount of points to spend and i'm actually going to be increasing my smithing skill by a massive amount we're going to be going for endurance 10 yeah, we're going super, super hard on this. And I'm also going to be an efficient charcoal maker. I personally feel like efficient charcoal maker is probably one of the best that you can go for. Now, I could technically go over to Andern now and I could buy some hardwood from there if I wanted to. I could also go and take this iron and things and I could sell it for a decent amount. But you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm actually going to go over to one of the other factions towns to sell that or somewhere where they can actually utilize it relatively nicely because as it stands right now it is a little bit sorry shall we say detrimental to sell our raw resources to these places around here because they're not really going to give us that much all right so i took a quest to go over to ox hall and deliver a herd of uh horses i think it is yeah look at that i only had one day left on this pretty crazy so 10 heads of Batanian ponies to this guy in Ox Hall. Okay, Hel Hel Helmold. Helmold is his name. And we're going to be selling a couple of these just to get, get us a little bit of extra cash. And uh, hopefully he won't mind that too much. I don't think he will because I think what you can do is you can sell just about half of what you need to provide to the quest giver. And then you should be pretty good there we go yes fantastic there you go and we gained some charm skill we gained some honor and we gained 400 gold and we also gained the 260 or so gold that i gained from selling those horses which is great so otherwise what are we going to do what are we going to do well we're here in ox hall are there any tasks no there aren't any tasks so i will just be making my way back to batanian territory and as i've said we are going to be very thematic about what we're doing. So in other words, I'm only going to be using Batanian armor and of course only going to be using Batanian weapons as well. So uh, I hope they have some throwing weapons. I, if they don't have any throwing weapons, I think they have javelins. It's more than likely they have javelins of some kind. But if they don't have throwing weapons, then I will just use any throwing weapons that I can find. But otherwise that's that's pretty much it that's the only kind of compromise that i might end up making but otherwise that's it so yeah we now have about a thousand gold and uh, we're going to try and do a tournament if i can i think i did make it to a town nearby that actually did have a tournament running but unfortunately the tournament ended just as i was about to enter so that was unfortunate but if we can get a tournament then that will allow us to pay quite a bit of our wages for a number of days. 
and we won't have to worry too much about it. Unfortunately, the tournaments do not become accessible at night, so we do have to be a bit careful of those. Okay, so there, there we go. Oh, wow, there, there really isn't? Okay, I'm actually going to go into the arena here because I'm a bit uh, confused as to where the tournaments are actually running. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, I don't have any more questions. Are there any tournaments going on? Pen Canock, and then another at Maranath. Oh, okay, that's actually really close by. I'm happy with that. Okay, great. So Maranath is really close by. Let's go over there. There are, there are a couple of tasks here as well, but I personally feel like doing a tournament would probably be the most lucrative for us at the moment, because the first thing that we want to do is build a... Are you serious? Saratis, why are you doing this, sir? Why are you doing this? Can I can I go into Maranath right now? I could help them? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. Okay. So apparently uh, Pen Canock is going to be my next port of call then, which is down here. Oh, he seems to have trapped himself. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's go in and see what we can do about leveling up our skills some more. That's the entire reason why we're going in here, just to level up Diggory's skills. Because Diggory is, well, let's just say it, not, not that effective at the moment. I mean, it's obvious, you know, we've just started playing, so he's obviously not that effective. But we have also specced into skills like, for example, smithing, that is basically pointless in a combat situation pretty much pointless let's actually just tell my units just to charge straight on in these are just looters but they are going to be quite effective in great numbers especially with their thrown weapons they're going to be kind of annoying to deal with so it would be nice if we could maybe do some damage with our thrown weapons unfortunately my thrown weapons are being very very useless right now but thankfully my people are doing a great job of dealing with them ah get them yeah these throwing axes are really really slow traveling through the air so i'm definitely going to need to do something to replace them probably get some javelins or something like that that will probably be the most advantageous for us we're just going to continue taking all the loot that we can get our hands on and of course just checking to make sure that the auto equip mod has you know any suggestions if they have any suggestions to make then of course we'll do that so i just chased them all the way down here but the thing is is that look at this we now just gained 11 skill points in steward because we were able to loot some varieties of food from that particular loot and that was really really good because 11 skill points in steward yeah give me that that sounds great okay so can we yes we can now do the tournament okay so i'm not going to go in there just yet because what i would like to do first is just sell the little bit of armor that i have just so that i have a little more to bet in the tournament itself and we're going to see how I do. Oh, ooh, some nice Batanian focused armor. Yes, this is going to be great. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, I'll bet 500. I'm, I'm very confident in my abilities, apparently. Okay, that's not going to work. How about, no. Nice. No, okay. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh, nice to the face. Oh, actually, to the chest, actually. But yeah, that actually worked out quite nicely. Oh, and he's down. Oh, take that. <laughs> that was actually a lot easier than I anticipated because we do have a very low skill in two handed. But bear in mind that uh, <laughs> we're up against Batanian Fian champions in the next one. Yes, this is going to be bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. okay. This is this is bad. This is bad news bears. That is bad news bears like no one's business. And I am actually going to have to leave the tournament now. And I have just spent all my money. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, well, never mind. We do have actually quite a lot of resources to be able to offset this. So we can basically just sell things, you know. We can sell, um, you know, wrought iron, for example. Look at this. We can we can sell all of this stuff for actually a pretty decent amount. And as you can see, I'm now back up at 813, which is great because obviously I'm not going to be doing a huge amount of actual crafting yet. We're mostly going to be using smithing for what we need it to be, which is smelting and getting those raw resources and being able to sell them for a profit. So hopefully we'll be able to make a bit of a dent in that as we go forward. But yeah, 
these tournaments, got to be a bit careful of those two-handed guys because they've got a massive amount of proficiency in that. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more, let me know, and I will see you next time. Thank you.